Hey guys, Kenny here, Kinsmo Legends. This one is about PTO cables. Uh, I had a John Deere D125 tractor, I'll show you in a minute, and I ordered the PTO cable for it. And basically, the PTO cable has a very large spring in it, okay? Pretty large spring, all right? So I called up a few places, and everyone said, yeah, they had it, they had it. So I ordered it, and what came was a spring that looks like this. If you notice, they're not the same, okay? So just wanted to tell you, be careful, because everyone I talked to said, yeah, this cable works, it works, it works, it works. Well, you know what? Everything fits perfect. It fit literally perfect. But when I went to engage the lever for the PTO, it actually cracked the plastic on the mount where this cable goes in, and I'll show you that. So not all PTO cables are correct. If you have to, send the guy a photo, dimensions, whatever, in the photo, this thing, I couldn't tell what size this was as compared to what size this was. He said it fit a D125 and the numbers matched up in the parts book. So this one here was on back order for a month. This one I got in about two weeks, but this is the one that I had originally on back order. It finally came, but this is the one I tried to put in there. So now I'm out 20 bucks or so for a bad PTO cable. So anyway, make sure you have the right PTO cables. All right, give me a second, guys. I'll show you the tractor. All right, guys, here's the tractor, John Deere D125. Usually the D-Series meant the plastic transaxles, but this one, it didn't have a plastic one. And what I wanted to show you was when this cable was hooked up, let me show you where it broke apart. Right, anyway. right here where the cable connects to, that should be completely round to hold the cable in. Well, this little piece here snapped off when I tried to engage it because of all the tension that was on it. Even though lengths and everything was the same, it really wasn't. And when I tried to cycle that lever over, it snapped that little piece. So I'm gonna see how this one fits. I may have to put a reinforcement plate on here with a couple of screws to hold it in so it doesn't uh, come out. But let me get this thing installed. Basically, you have a shoulder screw a nylock nut, and they go on to the end of the linkage back there. Oh, where is, there you go, you see the linkage right there at the end of that rod, that's where they go. And on the end is where the eyelet goes, and on the deck tensioner, that's where that goes. So I'm gonna put this back on there, I'm gonna fish it underneath, get it on the deck, and then hopefully when we try this thing out, it's gonna work, I hope so. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Alright guys, we're back. It's starting to rain, so I finished up. I'll show you what I did. I connected the spring right there back onto where it's supposed to go on the idler. Very simple. I didn't have to take the deck off. Hooked up the cable with a hitch pin. That's all set. Connected the cable to the tractor with that push pin in there. Brought the cable up. Attached it right there where it's supposed to go. Put the tension spring back on it. Put the cable in but since we had the little broken plastic here i made a little crutch if you will a little support bracket u-shaped support bracket this way when you cycle it on off that thing isn't gonna move i was afraid that with that little plastic piece missing it might want to fall off so i put this little girdle if you will to support like a support bracket and now you can see I turn it on, I turn it off. Everything is working good. The cable's not moving inside here. Everything's working properly. I turned the mower on, I cycled it, everything's working good. So now we just have to go back and bring this D125 back to the customer so he can cut his grass. But that cable, the factory cable I showed you, that's an OEM cable, it's about 60 bucks, not cheap. So when it comes to cables, guys, buy the one that's made for it don't believe anyone that tells you something will interchange because chances are it won't so that'll be it for this one you got any questions on these pto cables on these deers let me know i'll try and answer it in the comments that's it for now guys we'll talk to you soon